Nowadays, we kind of take having accurate subtitles for granted. Back in the good old days, there was no guarantee that whatever anime you wanted to watch was even going to get translated at all, whether it be in dub or sub. So you had to rely on fan subs, which were usually just loose collectives of sort of bilingual people that did God's work by translating the anime all for free, just because they wanted to. And for years, this was pretty much the only way that we had to watch anime. And let me tell you, it was awesome, because since they were unofficial, there were basically no rules rules or guidelines they had to follow. My favorite example of this was this one fan translation of The Melancholy of Haruhi Susumiya. It really lured you in with a false sense of security, with episode 1 being translated perfectly. But then, at the end of episode 2, they come in with this random ass part where they got like cannibal soup and shit. And for a lot of people, their first time watching the show was through this fan sub. So they didn't speak any Japanese. They had no idea that this was not actually how the story went. And they just managed to prank a whole bunch of people. People didn't take anime as seriously as they do now back then. And in a lot of ways, that was a good thing. Eventually, someone uploaded this fan sub to YouTube. And if you check the comments section, all you're going to find is just a bunch of nerds ringing at each other, which is kind of sad. That Modern weebs can't take a prank as well as they used to, but accurate subs are important after all. And honestly, I'm not really upset at the fact that we live in an era where you can always get an official one. But in the end, we've really lost a whole lot of the character that fan subs used to have. And honestly, I really miss the small details that they'd always put in, like the translation notes, or how they'd screw around with the fonts and the typesetting all the time. It's the little things that made fan subs unique, and the kind of stuff that we're not going to get with the more corporate subtitles of today. There was something so beautiful about that DIY style of thought, where they were all slightly half-assed, but we can't exactly go back to this era. Not only would the audiences not accept it, but really there's not that much fan sub work being done these days anyway. It hasn't completely died out, but it's certainly less necessary than it used to be. But with that being said, there is still one place where these kinds of shenanigans still go on to the present day, and that is in the manga scanlation scene. Now manga in the present day is in pretty much the same situation that anime was back in the day, with most most manga never getting an official translation or release outside of Japan, leading to some excellent results. In a lot of ways, what these scanlators are doing here is even better than what the fan subs people were doing back in the day. One of my favorites being the fan translation of Suicide Boy. I mean, when you're reading these, you basically got no idea what the translator's gonna do next. Let's take this scene for example. One second you'll be reading this really emotional scene and feeling for the characters, and then they just put in a SpongeBob transition and completely destroy the mood. Or how about this? one where it's completely normal until they edited Huni's phone to make it look like he's browsing 4chan. And you know what, man? It just keeps on getting better as I read on. Like, where else are you going to find the sentence maximum simp achieved in a normal translation? Or how about this scene where a bunch of characters are just saying the word lol out loud? They aren't laughing out loud. No, no, no. They didn't put down ha ha ha. They're legit just saying lol. <laughs> Or my own personal favorite is when they're like, sorry guys, we actually put in more swears than they're supposed to be. <laughs> It's all beautiful. This entire translation is basically a modern masterpiece. And honestly, it's pretty fun to read all the scan leader's notes. Sometimes when it's only one person doing it, you feel like you're forming a little bit of a connection with them. They'll put down their predictions for the future of the series, weird quips at the end. But my personal favorite is when they legit just have no clue how to translate it and then have to make some kind of excuse so that way the readers don't get mad at them. Or how about when the scanlation groups get in a beef with each other like they're some kind of street gang fighting over which manga they can translate. It's beautiful beautiful and it's fun and honestly i've got tons of respect for these people for stepping up and allowing us all to enjoy these great works of art so while fan subs may be dead their spirit lives on and i know that i'm going to enjoy it for however many years we have of them left